This short training video demonstrates the My Wallet page. Each day, transactions will interface from Bank of America into PeopleSoft. These transactions are displayed and can be updated on this My Wallet page. For Procurement Card, we anticipate liaisons or cardholders will use this page for two primary reasons. One, to change the expense type, and two, to apply use tax. However, please understand the only requirement for this page for a procurement card transaction is the correct application of use tax. To review and update the procurement transactions in the My Wallet page, navigate to Employee Self Service, Travel and Expenses, My Wallet. Click Search and the cardholders assigned to you as a liaison will be displayed. Your ID may also be displayed. In this training environment, our cardholders are named Cardholder 1, 2, 3, etc. The liaisons are named Liaison 1, 2, 3, etc. Normally, this page will display the actual cardholder's name. Select a cardholder to display the Review My Wallet's Receipts page. On this page, all procurement card transactions that have not been assigned to an expense report are displayed. Additional filters are available at the top of the page. Simply change any of the search filters and click Search. To review transactions for a cardholder, select the card account number and click Search. Some cardholders have more than one card. Be careful to select the correct card account. This page displays the account number, transaction date, the default expense type mapped from the merchant category code, the merchant interfaced from Visa, additional information entered by the liaison or the cardholder, attachments and the transaction amount. Click on the expense type to open the My Wallet detail page. On the My Wallet detail page, the default expense type can be changed. Please note each transaction has been assigned a default expense type based on the transactions merchant category code or MCC. For procurement card, you may want to change the expense type now before copying the My Wallet transaction into the expense report. You are not required to change the expense type, however changing it here in the My Wallet details may reduce confusion when the expense report is created. Attachments can also be added to the transaction. This is a useful feature if your department requires individual receipts to be attached to each transaction. If your department prefers to batch all receipts into one document, you may instead attach the batch of receipts at one time to the expense report. This will be explained in the expense report video. Click the Enhanced Data link to see the purchasing details. If supplied by the merchant to Visa, the Enhanced Data page contains the detail information for each transaction. You may also enter additional details about the transaction in the description. However, this is not required on the My Wallet page. You may want to wait until the expense report is created to describe the transaction. And finally, 
Check Use Tax and select an office location if Use Tax is applicable. Use Tax applicability must be applied here on the My Wallet Details page. Please be aware that some of the fields on this page can only be updated by an administrator, such as the Mark for Delete checkbox. Notice that we are updating one My Wallet transaction. However, we could scroll through each transaction using the scroll navigation on the top right. After updating the transaction, Click Save and return to My Wallet. Notice the transaction description and attachment link are displayed, indicating the transaction has been updated. Enhanced data may also be selected from this page, and attachments may be added also. This concludes this short video on the My Wallet page. Please review the next video which demonstrates how to create an expense report.